The next step will be to create a fillet right here on this edge. You notice over here, I got that edge filleted. I could change the view here. We'll shade with edges so you can get a better view of that. So I want to add this fillet right there. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to select under model, uh, not model, refine edge fillet because I'm going to grab the edge where that seam is and apply a fillet. So if I select the fillet, edge fillet, I can grab this edge. Make sure it says edge before you select. And let's go with a quarter inch and hit preview, see what it looks like. Uh, we can live dangerous, go a little bit bigger. The bigger the radius, the easier it is for the machine. So I'm gonna hit tab and preview that. That looks good for now, I'll select okay. You'll notice that when I shade this, There's my fillet here, but there's not a fillet on the other side. Now I could go back to refine and add the fillet. Oh, it had the whole thing highlighted, so I'm going to cancel that. Make sure nothing's active. And then go to the fillet command again. Pick this edge and select OK. No big deal, but it's in there twice. It's an extra step I don't need to have. So I'm going to delete this step and say OK. I'm going to delete this step and I'm going to delete this mirror like it never happened. If I go to fill it now and select the edge and select OK. And then I go to the transformation. Mirror command. And select this face, making sure that in the pop-up window it says current solid. I grab that face and select OK. When I do that, the fillet is already there. So before you do your mirror, you want to make sure that you have all your features done and it's just going to copy whatever is there. If you add features later on over here, you're not going to see it on the other side. Okay, that's the mirror command. Uh, that was the fillet command. So we inserted a fillet and I showed you a couple ways on how to insert that fillet. Next, we're going to put in these chamfers up here.